junior body, a captive jaguar at the Belize Zoo, celebrated his birthday in grand fashion today with students from various primary schools making the journey to the animal park for the annual festivities. We're having a big celebration today for Junior and we've invited some of his longtime friends from the villages of La Democracia and Mahogany Heights. They share a joint school, um, St. Agnes Anglican School, that serves both communities. And so there are neighbors right on our doorstep and we tend to involve them as much as possible in our, in our public education or community education events. So we have the lower division, I believe, with us today after um, receiving a week of visits from our environmental educator, Ms. Deja Mahler, where they learn about the importance of jaguars that live in their neighborhoods. While the big cat did not indulge in cake and soft drinks like his human friends, a large hunk of cow bone was enough to get the party going. You think it's a good cake for Junior Buddy? No. Yes. No, why not? We think you want, he want cake with flour, you think, and chocolate? No. no. He wants That's this, right? Want you know he eats meat. You know, Miss Deja thought he's that, right? So what, we should give it to him now? Yes. Junior Buddy is nine years old and, like most felines of his taxonomic group, his conservation status remains near threatened. We have these cats, other countries don't. They are extinct in parts of their range, but we still have them in Belize. And I think the kids leave with a sense of pride and that's very important. As a keystone species, jaguars play an important role in stabilizing the ecosystem and regulating the populations of the animals they hunt. He was born here uh, nine years ago. His mom was a sheep killer and she came here as part of our problem jaguar rehab program. She was nearly dead, believe it or not, but we didn't know she was pregnant. So we worked really hard to save her life, and bammo, she had this baby, and she rejected Junior after two days. So when that happened, I raised him to be an ambassador for his species. In other words, to be a beautiful cat, but visible to people, um, people friendly, so that everyone could understand the beauty and the importance of jaguars. The proximity of feral jaguars to the communities of La Democracia and Mahogany Heights makes this lesson in conservation all the more important for these kids. We're all in the Central Belize corridor where jaguars roam wild still. And so a lot of these children, their parents, are used to seeing evidence of jaguars and maybe glimpsing them in the wild. And so they know the jaguars are there. And so it's just making sure they always understand the value of having these animals still free and wild in, in Belize. And the fact that they're not an immediate threat most of the time they're just there, they're passing through like the most, like the rest of us. And so this is one of the ways we do it. We use something, a positive icon, which is Junior Buddy. Um, he's very charismatic. He's been around people his entire life. And so he demonstrates their intelligence, their beauty, their charisma. And the reason for celebrating his annual milestone? As, as well known as Junior is, it's always highly relevant to keep it. The, the power of education is keeping it constant. So, you know, you have to keep it in people's mindsets, you know, constantly remind them in positive ways why wildlife is an important part of Belize's identity, you know, a part of our culture, our economy, everything. And so it's so people don't take for granted these things that we have that some other countries can't even boast to have. Um, in other, some of our other Central American neighbors, they have no tapirs left. They barely have jaguars. They have other species that are dwindling, but Belize can still boast a healthy, jaguar population, among other wildlife, and that's something we can be proud of and should be proud of as a Central American nation. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kaitano.